So in this short video, we can look at the trends in melting and boiling points for metals as you go along a period and down a group. So firstly, we've got to use two key ideas. Remember, a metallic bond is a really strong electrostatic attraction between the positive metal ions and the negative delocalized electrons. Do not call them free electrons or valence electrons. They're delocalized, they are free to move. And secondly, remember, to melt a metal, energy needs to be supplied to break these metallic bonds. So if the melting point is lower, the metallic bonds must be weaker, and then you've got to try and explain why they're weaker. So let's have a look what the trend is to melting points and boiling points as you go down the group. Well, the key thing to see is as you go down the group, Remember that the radius of the iron, the metal ion, increases because there are more shells, which means that there's going to be a greater distance between your delocalized electrons and your positive nucleus. So the metallic bond is going to get weaker. It's also going to get weaker because, of course, you've got electron shielding. So if the bonds are weaker, it's going to take less energy to break them and the melting point is going to go down. So how can we explain this in short bullet points? The first thing I'm going to state is the melting point decreases. And I'll explain why, as the strength of the metallic bond decreases between the positive metal ions and the delocalized electrons. So less energy is needed to break the bonds. Now I'm explaining why the metallic bond has decreased. Because metal ion radius increases, so there's more electron shells. And secondly, there's greater electron shielding. So let's look across a period. Well, lithium um, has three protons and it has three electrons, of which its outer electron is delocalized, so is free to move. So it'll have one electron, which is free to move, and it'll have a charge of plus three in its nucleus. Now, if we look at beryllium, you'll notice straight away, if I compare the two by drawing this diagram, it's just... Um, uh, representation of the difference. Beryllium has two outer electrons in its shell, so it will have two delocalized electrons per ion. And of course, the charge will be plus four on the ion, it'll have one more proton. So, what does this mean? Well, first of all, the metallic bond of beryllium is stronger than lithium because it has an extra delocalized electron and the charge on the iron is more positive because it has one more proton. And therefore, with that stronger metallic bond, its melting point will be higher. So as you go along the period, the melting point goes up, and so does the boiling point. So how would I explain this clearly in an exam question? I would state the melting point increases as the strength of the metallic bond increases, so more energy is needed to break the bonds. So why does the metallic bond increase? Firstly, there's more delocalized electrons per ion is the key to say for each ion. And secondly, there's a greater positive charge on the metal ion because there are more protons.